Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably talk about uh, Excel sheets in uh, Jira for reporting. So basically I have seen this trend for uh, many, many, many years where organizations are using uh, Excel sheet for reporting. So in Jira, you can easily export your issues from issue navigator to your CSV file, which can of course be opened in uh, Excel or if you're on cloud, cloud can also give you this Excel. So I think on cloud, you can uh, generate the Excel file directly. So the point is that you can actually easily dump your issues, whatever fields you want to an Excel sheet. And uh, when you have Excel sheet, Excel sheets are tempting because uh, you can create almost any kind of report using uh, those list of issues. Maybe you want to create a pivot table with different pie charts and uh, graphs. And uh, because then when you have your Excel sheet, you can uh, manipulate it, you can change it. So you can do a lot of things with Excel sheet. Now, now the problem is that Excel sheets are not connected to Jira, although you can write a macro to connect it back. Even if you write a macro to create one report or sheet where you can do things uh, like by clicking a button, you can import everything from your uh, Jira instance to Excel sheet. Uh, even then, it is a standalone uh, product, product. I mean, not a product, but a standalone piece of sheet. I mean, I know that, you know, you can have uh, Microsoft 360 or Teams where you can have this sheet um, sh stored centrally, but that is not how usually Teams work because when you have Excel sheet, people want to download it on their local computer and that is the problem. When you, when you start downloading those files on your local computer, you will have multiple versions of those sheets. And uh, when, when people use uh, Excel sheets for planning the work or uh, maybe for creating reports, they have uh, maybe 10 different versions of the same sheet and uh, things are not really stored in Jira, then uh, someone will probably tell you that, oh, so there is a change in this report or uh, maybe there is a change in the plan. So let us do it for first in Excel and we'll probably circulate this Excel sheet. We'll send it to 50 people and then someone will uh, go back to Jira and update it. So it's, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of uh, your resources. And you should try to do everything within Jira directly as much as you can. So talking about reporting, try to use the native reports in Jira. They are not bad to be honest. Although you can't really do each and everything with it, but they are still good. Uh, because they will show you this information, which is almost real time. It, I mean, it is real time when you're looking at uh, your dashboard. But at the same time, if you're looking for that customized view where you want to display maybe the data based on uh, some groups, maybe you want to recreate your Gantt chart, or maybe you want to recreate your advanced roadmap hierarchy, you can still do those things if you're using an app like uh, EasyBI. I mean, uh, it depends what exactly you're trying to do, but if you are, if you have a structure or big picture or EZBI, you can actually, I mean, I'm talking about EZBI because EZBI, the reports that you create are not really real time, but at the same time, uh, you can actually create uh, wonderful reports like dynamic drill down label reports. And the good thing about EZBI reports is that when you, whenever you're looking at EZBI reports, you are actually uh, able to go to the issue from that EZBI report. For example, EZBI reports, of course, will, will not be real time. Maybe you can schedule it to update every day. That, that is, to be honest, enough in most cases. But uh, while, you while you're looking at your report, for example, let us say you create a table where you have some kind of a summary or maybe rolled up view of your data. And when you are showing it to your maybe team members, and if there is, let us say, uh, a feedback that, you know, this particular status needs to be changed or something you have to modify, you can still go to Jira, the actual Jira issue from that particular view. So you can actually right click on it if it is if it is one issue and then you can select go to source. At the same time, if you're looking at a pie chart, you can uh, see the portion of the pie chart and then you can click on it and then you can uh, uh, drill down further based on other fields. Like uh, if you're talking about 70% of the issues are open, you can click on that particular pie chart 70% and then you can uh, Drill, drill it down further by issue type or assignee or status. And you can then eventually go to the Jira instance 
I mean, your Jira issues, but you can also look at the list of those issues. So EasyBI, in my opinion, is a wonderful app, one of my favorite, uh, of course, after uh, script, uh, but uh, the thing is, try not to use Excel sheets. I know it is tempting. I know you are supposed to generate those reports for your stakeholders, but uh, wherever applicable, wherever possible, stay away from Excel sheets. It will actually, uh, you, you might solve one problem right now, but you will actually end up uh, creating multiple problems uh, in future. And you're actually generating, or not generating, but you're actually promoting this culture of using, uh, uh, I mean, I'm nothing against Excel sheets, because I have done a lot of work in Excel sheets. In fact, uh, I have uh, written macros, and I almost wrote a book. I am a bit, uh, uh, not, not really ashamed, but uh, uh, I mean, the, the thing is that I've done a lot of work in Excel, and, and I know that strengths, and I know the capabilities of the tool, Excel sheet. It is great for doing something when you're, uh, I mean, if you're talking about, let us say, accounting, or if you are doing some uh, extreme calculations on your computer that you will do, and then you will send the snapshot of the output to someone else, not the actual sheet. So Excel sheets, it's not really for collaboration. And that is where Jira or Confluence comes into picture because you can collaborate and uh, you're actually saving a lot of time. So that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today. Stay away from Excel sheet. I mean, if you're using Jira, if you're using, don't mix Jira with Excel sheets. Uh, either use Excel or use Jira, but not really both in 99% of the cases. All right, that is it. Bye-bye.